Hello everyone, this is Harshita Bhargav from Chitkara School of Hospitality and in this session we are going to learn about strategic analysis and choice. So let's start with introduction. We know that organizations continuously face different kinds of tech challenges which are present in external environment and these kinds of challenges creates barriers for choosing among different strategic alternatives available to an organization. So, strategic choice as well analysis is an essential and unavoidable part of the decision making process or we can say the process of strategic analysis and choice is itself a decision making process which is very important for the survival of an organization. So let's understand what is strategic choice. Strategic choice is that important part of the strategic process which involves different elements like identification and evaluation of different strategic alternatives which are available to an organization and which leads to the choice of strategies. After conducting external and internal analysis, the different alternatives available to an organization should be crystal clear. That means after conducting environmental analysis and internal resource analysis, now, what could be the different strategies or what are diff what could be the different strategic alternatives that an organization can adopt should be clear to the organizations. According to Professor Azhar Kazim, strategic choice is the decision to select from among the grand strategies considered. Remember, there are four grand strategies, stability strategies, expansion strategies, retrenchment strategies, and combination strategies. So here, the professor is talking about those four grand strategies. Then he's saying the strategy which will best meet the enterprise objectives. Obviously, we would choose those strategies, those plans which would help an organization to achieve its goals and objectives. The decision involves focusing on a few alternatives, considering the selection factors, evaluating the alternatives against these criteria and making the actual choice. So this was a brief or basic definition of strategic choice. There are four major steps which are involved in the process of strategic choice. Step one is focusing on strategic alternatives. That means what are the different strategic alternatives which an organization can adopt are available. The step second is analyzing the strategic alternatives. That means now we would analyze individually each and every alternative or we can say that we would analyze its pros and cons of different alternatives available to an organization. Third step is evaluating the strategic alternative. Now which alternative best suits the organization and as per the convenience organization would evaluate the strategic alternatives and ultimately organizations would choose from the evaluated strategic alternatives that would best meet its goals and objectives. So these four are basic steps in the process of strategic choice. Another important term which is related to strategic choice is gap analysis. Focusing on alternative could be done by visualizing the future state and working backwards. 
that means when we analyze our performance we would see what was the standard performance or what was the projected performance which an organization expected and what is the desired performance when we compare desired performance with the projected or standard performance we would find the gap and we would analyze that gap so that we can fill that and we can achieve our goals and objectives by taking corrective actions or suitable actions now next is what are the various subjective factors or what are the different elements or factors which should be considered while choosing different strategic alternatives number 1 is consideration for government policies strategies within organizations are aware of the crucial role the government plays in setting down politics and priorities government policies are very important while deciding upon which strategies should be adopted and which strategies should not be adopted second is commitment to past strategic actions that means past strategic action shows what we are doing till date and strategists would only make incremental changes to past strategies because when we have formulated those past strategies they took time energy and resources so we cannot fully discard the past strategies we would only incrementally change those strategies so as to achieve our goals and objectives next is strategists decision styles and attitude to risk the decision style adopted by strategists particularly ceos and their attitude to risk is a determining subjective factors in making strategic choices and fourth important point is internal political considerations when strategy formulation is viewed as a political process strategists are viewed as a coalition of interest that means the internal good politics of an organization plays a significant role in choosing strategies and a dominant ceo is able to affect strategic choice as per his desires so this was all about strategic analysis and choice Thanks for watching this session